everybody, I'm sure, recognizes this sound. In fact, some of your mouths may be salivating just thinking of the tasty beverage you're about to consume. In a survey that I conducted of our class, 65% of you responded, and of those, 92% have, have drank alcohol before in their life. Of those 92%, 62% have drank beer before. Okay. Um, many people are more familiar with big beer companies, Budweiser, of course, um, but I'd like to introduce you to a little less known thing called Craft Beer World. Um, according to the Craft Brewery defined on, ooh, okay, sorry. So, according to the <coughs> Craft Brewers Association website, in the United States in, on July 1st, 2012, there were 2,126 breweries. Of those <coughs> breweries, 97 of them were craft beers. I worked at such a place in California called the Half Moon Bay Brewing Company. We brewed English style craft beers in the back and we served it with food in the front. I'd like to introduce you today to that craft brewery world. I'll start by talking about what defines a craft brewery, the different types of craft brews there are, and then go over a couple that you might not know so well. So we'll start at the brewery. Um, so the, according to an article the craft brewer defined on the Brewers Association website, there are three things that kind of set a craft brewery apart from a regular brewing company. First is that they create, or they make a very small amount of beer. That actually is less than six million barrels per year. A barrel is 31 gallons. It sounds like a lot, but I can think of how much beer I consume. It doesn't sound like that much to me. The second is that it has to be controlled 25% or less by a non-craft brewer. And then that most of the ingredients need to enhance the beers rather than take the flavor out like a traditional light beer. The craft brewers actually came from home brewers in the 70s who wanted to make a beer that was less light like the American population had kind of come to consume. Okay, um, now we're going to move on to something a little bit, the different types of beer that they have. According to BeerNexus.com, in an article, The Primer on Beer by Jim Atacab, there are two main categories of craft beers. We have ales and lagers. First, an ale that has a high yeast concentration. This will cause the beer to fermentate um, at a higher level or a higher degree. According to Webster's um, Dictionary, copyright 2000, fermentation is a chemical decomposition of an organic substance. Now, what that is going to do is, in beer, <coughs> the yeast decomposes grains into alcohol and carbon dioxide, the bubbles and the good stuff in the beer. Um, so for ales, you're going to have a higher alcohol content and a fuller body beer. And we have lagers, which have a lower yeast concentration, therefore giving it a lower alcohol content and a lighter, crisper taste. Now for a couple beers that you might find in the grocery store. <coughs> um, I had a chance, like I said, I worked for the brewing company in California, so I called them up and I talked to brutal master James Costa, and we went over a couple different things. Here are three of the beers that, according to my survey, you guys were very aware of. My first and foremost favorite is the IPA or Indian Pale Ale. It's got a high hop, hop content. High, uh, hops are one of the main ingredients along with malts and stuff like that in beer. Most people think of a hop as bitter, but there are hundreds of different kinds of malts, I mean of hops, excuse me, um, in circulation. A classic West Coast style of an IPA is going to be a citrusy flavor, while an English style is going to have a hoppy, I mean, excuse me, an earthy, grassy, and herbal taste to it. Um, Highlight is actually a brewing company in Tampa, so you can find that beer in a lot of different stores down here. Second is going to be a Hefeweizen. It's actually an unfiltered beer, so it gives it a very cloudy look. It's often served with a lemon or an orange, and it has um, a classic clove and banana taste. And then we have our stout. It's going to be very, very dark. Um, they use toasted malt as, a, as opposed to light malt in it, and that makes it give it a dark color, and then it also has like an espresso chocolatey taste to it. Um, for stouts, Guinness, huge beer, I'm sure you all know it, and then um, Sam Adams make a, makes a half a wise then. So, I also wanted to tell you that IPAs, I like to pair them with wings, really good. Half wise seafood, works well, and Guinness, after dinner drink, not something that you really want to start with, but to each his own. Okay, so, now we've ended our journey. Um, from the brewery to the beer on your table. Um, I hope you, we went over what defines a, beer, a craft brewery, we defined different types of the main categories of those craft breweries, and we also went over a few beers that you might not have heard before. Um, 
So hopefully now you'll be able to have a better knowledge of the beers that you choose in the stores or, at the, or out with your friends. I'm not a very religious person, but I have to agree with Bedroom and Flavin, who said beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. <laughs>